Welcome back guys to another babbling beer review on a lovely Monday evening. Um, hope you had a good weekend, whatever you were doing, and the weather was good for you. But back to reality now, isn't it? Back to that Monday to Friday slug, the old grind. So what better way than to have a cheeky after school uh, beer, naughty beer, babbling beer reviews. So tonight I've got something uh, else from Celtic Brewery. I did go out today looking for a specific beer that I couldn't get hold of. So I will do that review as soon as I can get hold of that beer. Um, Morrison Supermarkets again. I went around today actually. I did post a video earlier on. I took it off the channel, so I'm not sure on, on uh, whether you're allowed to post videos from supermarkets. Um, Morrison's, that is, other supermarkets are available. Um, but they had some Hobgoblin, uh, Pedigree, um, Old Spelkel Hen, and the South in there, but they're all, all going for a pound a bottle. And I thought, well, it's only too good, you know, not to share it. So I did post a little short video for you guys out there. Just, I don't know if it's every Morrison's, but down here in Bodmin in Cornwall, uh, that's, there they were, a pound a bottle. Um, Goblin Gold and, I say, Pedigree, Ruby Goblin. Um, and old speckle hen, both types there. So worth checking in and getting in and get a couple, get a couple of bottles for for yourself, you know, for a pound a bottle, if you like them, just out there for you guys to pop down there and pick some up before they run out. But today I've got hold of another beer from Celtic Brewery, not the one I wanted, but as I said, I'm going to work through them. Um, for some reason, I seem to do more bottle hours at the minute than I do anything else. <laughs> um, Obviously, I will do my, my, my live hours as I go, but I did say on this channel we'd do a mixture of both. So, a lot of you guys pop into supermarkets and different shops and pick up craft beers and real ales. So, I'll just pick up, you know, as I see, I've seen a couple of day that I've picked up to try out and do a quick review on. So, Celtic Brewery, as I told you, if you haven't seen the previous videos, was founded by Stuart Heath in 1997. Um, I know I keep going over this, but for the guys that haven't seen the previous videos, it's just to give a bit of a you know, background about the brewery. It was uh, founded down in the Roseland Peninsula, uh, I think in a barn or something like that. I did say in the previous video, if you check them out. Um, it started with a 2.5 microbrewery. But to start him off, it, it, his agreement was that where he was drinking with his landlord that if he brewed a, a superior pint, the landlord would put it on the pump in the pub. Um, as I say, again, short short story. Uh, obviously, that's what happened. From what I make out, that beer, I'd love to find out which one it's called, is, is an award-winning, it won an award, a gold award straight away, so it's an award-winning beer. Um, and obviously, the brewery went from strength to strength from then, so it's just grown and grown and grown. Um, and as I say, I've, I've done two, two, three previous videos now. I've done the Grim Reaper, a 6%er. That's good, check the video out. I've done... Uh, Phoenix Pale Ale 4.5, really nice beers, both of them really good. I did the Lance, what was, was that, 4%? I can't remember what that was now, guys. Um, but I wasn't overly keen on it, and that was a gold nail, you know. So, out of the three beers, that was my least favourite. But um, as I said, I worked through them because I've got several to try. So, and, and the, the Grim Reaper and um, the Phoenix. Phenomenal, fantastic flavours. And for a bottled beer, as I told you, if you watch my channel, I'm not a massive fan of bottled beers, but I will do it to give you guys an idea of, of these beers, you know, and what they, what they taste like and cost and things like that. Again, one I've just picked up, two pound in Morrison supermarkets. Other supermarkets are available. Um, yeah, so not bad for a couple of quid. And this one is, is which is actually, very, very apt for my pub, the King and Dragon. Very apt, the King and Dragon. And this pint of beer, or the bottle is King. King, there you go, look. King from Celtic Brewery. Very fitting. King of the castle, King of the castle. <laughs> Don't think the missus would agree with that, but there you go. Uh, and this one, again, is a European Gold Award winner, 2022. European gold award winner. Their beers, I mean, as I said to you in the previous videos, they are award winning beers. And I say Grim Reaper, a double gold. 
um, and the Phoenix. They're all, I'd say the flavours are fantastic. Lovely, lovely beers, well worth, worthy of the um, rewards. And as I say, I will at some point nip out to the, they've got local pubs, their own pubs down in uh, West Cornwall there. I would like to try uh, a venture out one day and pop down to one of these pubs and see if we can get their ales on the pump, on the live, the live beer. So I'd like to try and see what they're like. So if I can't get it from the brewery, which look at their website, as I said previously, you can only get the bottles and five litre kegs. So something I want to try. I would just like to compare. This is a, an award prim, award winning premium bitter. This one, uh, King from Celtic Brewery. .co.uk if you can check the website out. Uh, it's a 5.1% premium bit, a 5.1% this one. So nice, that's what I like about the 5%. Ray, I said that around about the 5. This ideal for me, that's why I like them. Um, and this one, it is, let's give a little description of it. A premium bitter was exceptionally well balanced and long lasting on the palate. Uh, winner of a vast array of awards, including champion bottles beer in Seba national brewing competition first place in an international world of beer festival in miami um, two southwest regional gold medals uh, and cornwall's regional national and international champion so yeah king premium bitter 5.1 percent it's got to be good isn't it uh, the Celtic King. In the Cornish language, Celtic means the names ascribed to the inhabitants of Cornwall during the age of King Arthur. Uh, our hand-brewed beers are a tribute to our country's Celtic heritage and celebrate the historic town of King Arthur, who, according to legend, was born at Tintagel Castle in North Cornwall. Well, obviously, Tintagel Brewery is up that way. I said to you guys before, probably those of you who have been down here on holiday have been around Tintagel, and it's a beautiful place, isn't it? If you get up onto where the old castle grounds or ruins were, the views out there are fantastic and if you haven't and you're down Cornwall get yourself to Tintagel nice little nice little day out through the town there a couple of pubs to try um yeah and just the fantastic you get down to the castle get over there and have a look you stand by the King Arthur uh, statue that's up there um get some great pictures uh so the weather's great fantastic the views fantastic so yeah check that out if you're down this way but the uh the beer the beer let's have a look my trusty bay's bottle opener as i say we'll give it a whirl and see what it tastes like <coughs> very nice looking um, let's just hope it's as, as good as it sounds eh? and as i say you guys poor actually it's good that it didn't explode again isn't it whenever they don't explode it's always a good thing for me because I'm useless at pouring. I just do better off of a off of a pump than I do out of a bottle. My missus would say I'm terrible. You're terrible, Lee. Oh, I guess. I can never be a landlord. Never. Oh, that looks a bit carbonated, this one, doesn't it? Yes, it do. But we're getting it in there, look. Yeah, there we go. That's always a good sign in it for me. Oh, lovely. Lovely beery flavour or smells. I'd always say flavour. Babbling beer reviews. There you go. Again, a sort of golden to amber, isn't it, in colour? The lights are good in there. Again, nice and clear, nice clear beer. We like the clear ones. Yeah. It's like a, that is, oh, it's not amber, it's, it's a golden colour beer. It's gold and it's a bit darker on the on the gold colour. Like carrots in it, nine carrot, 18 carrot. <laughs> carrot gold maybe the light ones i could say they're carrot gold and these these are the proper gold yeah <laughs> i do talk a lot of bleeper don't i anyway let's have a little smell yeah nice and nice and early aroma there smell the malts coming through on that one Yeah, that is a nice, nice, strong beery smell of that. It's very nice smelling. So that's all important taste test now, guys. Again, carbonation, but not too bad, actually. 
not too bad not as bad as the last one i had and so that phoenix one doesn't taste any well there's some strong flavour on the back of your throat again with that one you might find with a lot of bottled beers isn't it that's the, the thing for me when i'm drinking them yeah that flavouring you know there's a couple i mean I've, do you know, that does remind me a bit of, of the, the Hobgoblin, that sort of flavourings you get from there. There's a nice sort of burnt taste in this one, a nice malty, not not bolt, you know, burnt as in like um, a green really those dark uh, roasted grains. You could taste that in this, but this has got a yeah, a nice sort of almost nutty, nutty flavour to it. Yeah, it's a nice beer. It's, it's again, you know. I think you can taste it. You know, pushing that that five point one percent, you can taste the strength in it, the ABV feel, and when you take, you can you can taste the difference straight away from from the lighter beers they do. Like, like when I had that Lance, um, this is definitely definitely much much stronger than that. Obviously, five point one percent. Again, yeah, definitely like a like you know, like a, a sort of roasted nutty flavour in there. Very nice, very nice. Full bodied, full body flavour. Point that one. Not too carbonated, as I say, which uh, I like. And I say nice and clear. You can see it's not too. Not too uh, gassy there from the some bubbles there, and as you know, you can see not not too much froth on the top there. Just about to see that. It's a premium bitter, isn't it? I mean, so it's 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 a, it's a nice a nice bittery beer. I mean, I think that one again on the pump would be. As a pint of bitter in the pub, that'd be nice. Yeah, nice if you're out for a Sunday lunch or something in the, in the pub, and you know you want a nice beer to go along with your Sunday roast. That'd be a nice one. That nice, five point one percent. Again, you get that sort of nice when you have a five point one, you know, five percent beer. You get a nice sort of a comfortable feeling. I would call it, you know, sort of. So you start drinking, you think, oh yeah, you know, it's nice, so relaxing. You know, nice to relax, have a pint of that, have your dinner, have a meal. Very nice. Yeah, so you're well balanced and long lasting on the palate. So yeah, you do. I suppose it's a bit like I said to you about the Reaper. You get that aftertaste that's what's there. And it does seem to sort of sit, sit there for a bit. So you can, you know, save that taste. Um, yeah, very nice. I'd like to get hold of more of their ingredients. You know, when, they, when you look at their their bottles and obviously find out what's what's in them like you know well, this will give you as we say the general ingredients water malt hops and yeast well yeah you know what's the secret ingredient <laughs> what's what, what what makes your beers unique and stand out but so that's a winner that's a that's a an award-winning premium bitter so again another good one european gold award winner I like the design of that one as well. I like the old uh, sword that's there in the stone. Sword in the stone. Pint of King. That'll be Excalibur, won't it, I suppose? Yep, European winner 2022. Celticbrewery.co.uk. And I say Morrison Supermarkets down here are selling these for a couple of pounds a bottle. Other supermarkets are available. I don't know if they stock this, but they, I know Morrison's are stocking this. Whether they stock it up where you are, if you're up country, I'm not sure. Um, worth having a look. But if you're down this way, definitely uh, you can pick a bottle of that up. Especially if you're down on holiday, if you're holidaying soon or you're you know, coming down or down now. Pop out and see if you can get a couple of bottles. And it's nice, you know, as I said, I've got a few different ones. Still got a few more to try. 
and work through. Um, as I say, my favourite so far, I say it's the Grim Reaper. As a strong beer, that's my the ones I've had so far, and that's a strong beer. That's a nice, but that Grim Reaper's really strong, and that roasted flavour, it gets to be honest, fantastic. But the Powell, the, the Phoenix one, what I liked about that is I could, I could, it was a 4.5, and I could session on that. It went down so, so lovely, like, you know, and I, I think, you know, you could drink a lot of it, as I say, and it'd be dangerous, that one. But my favourite, I think, for an average all-rounded beer, that's the one that I would go for, just the fact that I could, and I think a couple of Grim Reapers, and like I say, I'd be off to a nice sleep. But uh, yeah, and this one, this one you could have, I'd say, a good, good three or four bottles, I reckon, that would sort you right out. I mean, it's a five percenter. Obviously, you know, yeah, if if you you know chilling out on holiday down here, that's 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 nice. After a day of trekking about and doing whatever you're doing, if you're sitting at home or sitting in your in your holiday lodge or wherever you are, your caravan outside, a couple of bottles of that on on the on the deck in there or out the back in the garden. Um, yeah, lovely. A taste of Cornwall while you're on holiday. So another good one uh, from, from them. As I say, let's, let's just have another, another taste. Yeah, I definitely get like a nutty flavour from that, maybe sort of caramel taste in there as well. But um yeah it reminds me of Hobgoblin a bit. I so I think is it I think it's I'd almost say it's like mixing Ruby and King Goblin together and having a sort of one in, in the middle there. That's what I would if you've tried them beers middle of the road this would be between the two, you know? Again, as I say, you know, whenever I drink for me, I think the reason I say I like live ale, guys, is because I, I think when it's carbonated, I always, in my mind, I always get that carbonation before I get anything else. Whereas if I have a, a beer off the pump, there isn't that there to worry about. I just get the full flavour of the beer straight away. You know, I'm not even thinking because I know I'm getting a, a real ale, so I, I, I just sort of drink and, and there's the flavours. Bush, it's there with you. Whereas with a bottle, as I say, you're getting that carbonation before anything else. For me, anyway. So, it sort of takes away from, you know, I always got that in my mind, which is not fair for the bottled beer. But, having said that, this Celtic Brewery, as I said, the flavourings are, are, are fantastic. He's, 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 you know, he's, they're, they're good at flavourings down at this brewery. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Well worth checking out. Babbling Beer Reviews. Get my words out. Get my words out, Lee. So, yeah. Get yourself and try some. Let me know if you've had it. Put it in the comments. What did you think? Did you like it? Would you recommend it? You know that sort of thing, and we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll compare. Um, what would I review? And uh, what would I review? What would I rate it out of our ten scale? Do you get it? Yes or no? Yes, buy it. That's what I like to say. Yes, buy this one. Um, a bottle of beer. Do you think we should have two ratings on bottled and real ale? Maybe you know, that's something you could suggest in the comments as well. Should I do one lot of ratings for something off the bump and one of the bottles, or should I just do it as an overall like I've been doing? Let me know and I'll make a decision from that. But I, I would go with now on, on that, I would say. Hmm. I'm going to go an eight, just because it's obviously it's a strong beer. I like five percent, as I said to you. You know, anything between seven and ten is good. It's good, good ratings from me. It's it's high. Uh, eight, and that's eight point one. Um, yeah, I think it's up there. And I say I'm still rating it under a bottle. This is why I've got to get on sick. I'd love to try these and then give you reviews straight from an hour pump because I've, I'm sure it'd be completely different. <laughs> But yeah, get it, try it, and that's what my, my take on that was. 8.1. What do you think? What did you rate it at? What would you rate it at? Let me know, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there, as I say, you know. Anyway, enough babbling and waffling rubbish from me. Uh, whatever you do, guys, have a good evening, what's left of it. I hope the week's not too bad for you. Um, 
so the whole grind isn't it up to well thursday for a lot of people now it's a new start of the weekend isn't it thirsty thursday i'll call this mull of monday mull of monday that's what we like to call it when we're out on the school night mull of monday so look after yourselves and i will see you probably at the weekend with another babbling beer review here at the king and dragon and as i say you know look after yourselves and hope the week's kind to you all right catch you in the next one guys thanks for tuning in see you again soon